here is the list of all every anybody has done here. So if you wanna want some other examples, here's a lot of stuff people have done. Yeah. But because it's Tesla some of those might not work, so Yeah. So they might not work and they might disappear next yeah. week. But yeah. you can you can like if you wanna show them something like click on you know, you can try, for example this one. So that's it. Yeah. Scary looking head. Oh wow. And that'll come up if I type that into the browser. That'll come up on the cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and here's on top. There are two buttons. This is the full screen, and this one shows you the editor. So you can edit this scene here. Here's the head, I think. Yeah, here's all the pictures for the head. This is fun stuff. Changing them to something else. Let's see what happens. <laughs> What'd you do to it? Well, it had the ma texture map for the for the skin, and I just changed it to the your 360 photo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the Very that's funny. the stage of the Commonwealth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I don't know, just messing around, but this is kind of funny stuff to try. Okay. Anybody can try this, you know. I don't know, change it to a tree bark. Oh, now he's a tree man. Yeah. So. And can you spin that head? Yes, I can. So here, how do we spin? So mesh, that means the, the object. And this is all the parameters. So it has three important parameters. Position, rotation, and scale. And we can move all of those. With, if we want, want it to rotate automatically, here's what we have to do. So... Let me see if I could actually... Okay, here's how you do it. Um, rotation, if you hover over it, you can see the data type is vector. That means it has three numbers to it. So right. it has the X, Y, and Z value. So we need to connect three numbers to it. And how do we do that? Well, we have to first do something that's called X, Y, Z vector. Right. So I'll drag that, and I'll connect the vector to the rotation. And now I can add the three numbers. So I'll search for a number. First one. So I can co copy paste it three times. Now I'll connect the x, y, z values. So now. The rotation values are one, one, one. So it was zero, zero, zero by default, I think. So now we are back to normal. Let's minimize this so we can have some more space. We can also keep the names X, Y, and Z. Right? Okay, so if we wanted it to turn, what we have to do is use a clock. So we connect, I'll search for a clock. The most easy one is the basic clock. So I'll drag the basic clock here. Here it is. So it has two boxes, patches, the purple one and this one. So this one just controls the speed of the clock. And this is the actual clock. So I'll connect this to one of these values. So let's try the X first. Connecting clock to the X. And it rotates oh. vertically. Like this. It's pretty cool actually. Stop that. Let's connect it to the Y. Okay. That's Y rotation. Let's try it to the Z. So here we have the three axes. If I wanted to really spin, I could connect the two of them. Or even all three. I, want, I can make it go faster. So now it's just wobbling. Yeah. Look at that. So you can connect from time to all three XYZ. Yeah. Not just one. I thought you might need three clocks. No. You could have three clocks if you wanted them to, to very have different, different speeds. speeds. Yeah. Spinning slowly this way, quickly that way. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so that's how you can do it. We also have um, a slider. If you search for a slider, so 
so I can connect the slider to X, so then I can slide it. You know, it's a small number, let's make it bigger. What's that doing? What's it supposed to be doing? Well, let's see. Oh, okay. It's, it's not smooth, yeah. Yeah, you have to kind of click, and that's 